Zite with Uprox Reports in Seattle, Washington, where the city has found an alternative way to make banks think twice about their investment practices. Many global banks to, are financing the Dakota Access Pipeline. Bank of America, Citibank, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, all with many hundreds of millions committed to the energy transfer family. Yeah, we made history in Seattle earlier this week with the unanimous vote by the city council to divest $3 billion from Wells Fargo. personally inspired as a socialist, fighting for the rights of everybody uh, to have access to clean water like for all of humanity. All of this is very much integral in my mind to our larger fight for economic justice. There are several key next steps. We don't want a copyright on the movement's victories in Seattle. We want these victories to spread. This can happen. Seattle uh, was simply to be used as the catalyst to launching off a, a more broad uh, not only national, but actually international uh, campaign as well. And we've been in conversation with folks in Los Angeles, San Francisco, folks in Silicon Valley, Portland, Raleigh, North Carolina, and this morning I got a call from folks in uh, Berlin and they wanted help to develop a campaign out there. If we can make it so politically expensive for them that they are forced to back away, then the pipeline itself cannot be built. Law will ensure that the city departments will have to seek another bank that has a decent record on social justice. So ultimately, our fight has to be for either getting a credit union or for building a state bank. We're going to demand that the city council and the mayor to divest the city's pension fund from all fossil fuels. Right now, the pension funds are invested in fossil fuel industry to the tune of $2.5 billion. We can't have a contradiction between rhetoric and reality. Our movement demands that politicians put their money where their mouth is. For more information, go to foodandwaterwatch.org.